then what is the time of giving a, the scg which is the, an ideal time particularly when you are seeing a 2d then the size of the follicle should be 16 mm you should put a color doppler then it should have a 3/4 of vascularity if you measure the ri it should be less than 0.5 psv should be more than 10 these are the minimum requirements for a successful iui if you want to give, get an excellent results with an iui the minimum requirement is a color doppler you cannot do with uh, uh, only 2d because 2d does not tell you the functional maturity of an ovum so color doppler will tell you the functional maturity and it will pinpoint exactly when the hcg is to be given to the patient now suppose some of the patient may not conceive in spite of using a color doppler then the 3d power doppler will be 3d and 3d power doppler will be very useful you can measure the volume 3 to 8 cc the beautiful thing is that you can see the cumulus of forest so in an iui you if you see the cumulus then the ova is very good and chances of fertilization are very high and the pregnancy rate will be very high so we always see the cumulus before doing an iui almost in more than 90% of cases you will be able to see the cumulus vi will be 6 and 20 while fi will be 35 these are the figures if you achieve these figures and then you do an iui your success rate will definitely improve same is an endometrium it should be 6 mm ar grade a or grade b endometrium vascularity in zone 3 and 4 ri less than 0.6 and pi less than 2 and out of all the uterine artery pi is very important because uterine artery pi should be less than 3 if you see so many papers of an ibf also that if uterine artery pi is more than 3 the implantation does not occur so in an iui also before giving hcg to the patient the uterine artery pi should be less than 3 then the success rate will be very high you can go with the 3d and 3d power doppler where you can use the volume and you can use the vi fi and vfi values for the improvement of your results